I was going to keep this horrific injury to myself, but you know, I share all the good stuff, I might as well share the bad stuff as well. You know, if you're a little bit squeamish, look away because this normal people wouldn't be able to stick this kind of pain. Me, I'm just a fucking animal. But I'll show you now, I'll show you. Watch, 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 watch. See that? Fucking hangnail, look at that. Jesus Christ. Now that's a horrible looking finger, but I'll tell you why it's a horrible looking finger. I cut that off when I was young, that see the scars. Cut the top of that off. There's the scars there. Chop the little top of that off in the door. In school. So that's that's what happened there. The sun jizzing in my eyes, doesn't matter anymore, is it? That, that sexy part of the wood where you're pulling up the drains and cleaning up. I like to loosen everything up first. Just Loosen it all up. So I'll get it nice and loose. Let's not be harder on the grab and stuff than we have to be. And then just pick them up. Let's not go too mad. We don't want to destroy the place with muck. Let's just get everything out of the drain safely. Like so. And tidy it all up later. It's an important bit. Don't want to do any harm. See what I mean? few people know how lemongrass is made and the process that is involved in making lemongrass so your Illuminati member I mean your farmer grows normal grass in a field it's a grow long like a meadow very high quality grass it has to be high quality grass that's the most important thing and then they spray it now they spray it with a concoction well it's not a concoction that sounds <laughs> insidious it's a uh, what do you call it? A mixture of lemon flavor water, say, citrus flavor water, and monosodium glutamate. Here we have our Illuminati member spraying the grass with that flavor rich liquid that'll soak into the grass and it'll be tasting so yummy. That, my friends, is how lemongrass is made. So don't ever say that I wasn't educational on here, okay? People, I have made a horrible mistake. Please, stop sending me the pictures of the bloody gutty ones with the bones and stuff. I can't. I can't do it. I've seen a few and they're making me puke. I don't mind the ones. I can put them up where they're all healed and stuff. But please, please don't send me any more of them. I can't. It's horrific. I've also learned that men put their hands in the maddest places. And we have a saying, don't stick your hands where you wouldn't put your willy. But obviously we don't listen. Jesus. Jesus, lads. Oh my God. Fucking hell. And happy 4th of July celebrations. To all my American friends. Ah, lads, I nearly have the fear opening up my messages now because there's such disturbing, graphic, rotten stuff coming in. And also, I'm kind of weirdly drawn to looking at them, but then I instantly read. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for putting all them up because, you know, there's a lot of soft shites out there. And, uh, don't send me any more. I have too many as it is. My DMs are full of horrible stuff. Yeah, thanks a million for all that. Just listen to Alan Clark's new episode of his podcast, which is out today, and really, really good. He did the interview with Patrick Feeney, who's an Irish country and western singer. I didn't know much about Patrick until I listened to the interview. I knew he was a country and western singer, but I didn't know that he was a Illuminati member, drove lorries, they killed puppies. I'm only messing about the killing puppies thing. That's a joke. That's a joke. Well, really good very interesting. Alan, I feel you've grown as a broadcaster. Mostly your butt cheeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was very good. Very good. Go listen to it. Go listen to it. Vicky stood up and greeted me with a nice coffee. She's trying to get me into lattes and stuff. Just one at night time. Stop me from eating sweets and stuff. <laughs> so she gave me these ones last week and they were actually nice. 
and I said I'd make one this evening and I was reading the instructions and it was actually an iced salted caramel latte. Yeah, but you're like... You didn't even read the instructions. No, I'd just seen caramel latte. you never seen iced. But you still drank it. It could have poisoned me. No, it couldn't. What if hot water was breeding germs germs inside it? Germs wouldn't live on you. They'd live on me, all right. They wouldn't. No. Even the flies wouldn't pay rent on you. Oh, God, you're such a Protestant. Fuck off. And so, the amount of videos and messages and pictures I'm after getting on Instagram and Facebook in the last 24 hours is shocking. Look at that. I was rattling underneath the seat, driving me mad. I'm not going to be able to do anything for the next two or three weeks without worrying about getting my hand chopped off. Be careful out there. I can't pop anymore. I can't even look at it anymore. They're, they're horrific. They're horrific. Not one woman. We'll put their hand somewhere stupid. That's what I'm after figuring out. Or maybe they just wouldn't send me the pictures. But women are definitely a lot more careful than men. I just came up to me, Mammy, and uh, I'm going around like a pauper for the last three or four days because I have no card, I have no cash. Went to the shop tomorrow and forgot I had no money. Yeah, you know. It, yeah, me wallet. Oh, it's yeah. they did not send it down yet. And I should have paused. It's slow. Or maybe it's robbed, or maybe the postman robbed it. Well, um, robbed. So, ma, feed me. Quick. <laughs> Karen made me a coffee and it looks fair mean when she put it into a big mug. It's like half a mug of coffee. But he's yeah. He's the major fuck. You don't have an awful lot of room to fuck around here. The lines are narrow. The machine's big. Like all good fucking operators, you like everything tight. The lines, your machine. I'm gonna say no more. What? Say no more. <sighs> Let's look at that. Every time I look at it, I feel like puking. There are two fives. That's commercial. There is hardwood in the middle. And then pull it at the back. Now that's gonna be awful to unload. But but I did finish a whole line with one go. One run. I went on load and I was just dropping them and see this this branch here? That's gonna burst pipes and do harm, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Time for that. Good luck. Yay! Oh. More. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Swing like a camera, woman. That's it. <laughs> he won't. No, he won't. Is he sick? I think so. Oh no. But we'll put him onto a flower and see how he fares. Let him go on it. What do you think of that, Jane? Let him go on it, man. Let him let it go on it. I don't know. I don't know if he'd sting. Yes. And you'd never know. Ah. Are you mad? No, he, she's mad. She's very mad. She's a mad mother. <laughs> <laughs> I think every man would agree unanimously. Um, a gobble. A gobble. See, on a line of timber, there's loads of different lengths and they have to be segregated. And last night, if you watched that video, I was collecting 3.4 pala and then I went back in after that for the pulp and the two fives. Alan has a fantastic new podcast and he wanted one of his favorite friends on it tonight. So I said I'd come over and meet him. 
and I'm just wearing a t-shirt and uh, look at this one. My favourite friend wasn't available so yeah. you, you'll do. I'm his favourite friend. He's all dressed up and making me look like bad. Well, he's not making me look bad now or anything but it, you know I'm a little bit underdressed. Such a fucking fat skinny bastard. When Alan does podcasts he does it in a real seedy way, he brings everyone into hotel rooms and sets up in hotel rooms and I blur out your voice. Like he, he he's working away there and I don't know whether I'm supposed to sit here and watch him or start jerking off. <laughs> oh, oh. He bought me a coffee and a raisin and biscuit. Because he knows I like to melt them. I mean eat them. And see that bag? I'm terrified he's gonna pull the strap on out of it. What the f terrified. I just called to say yeah. I love you. I was thinking he wasn't taking it serious there for a minute. These are very um it's a singy microphones. In here, isn't They're it? very singy. It's just I'm so hot. <sighs> Can I open the window? It's open as far as it'll go. Oh, There's me and Alan creepily walking out of the hotel at night time with his six foot dildos. Prime time investigate. Hey look, the two of us are wearing Hedy Hansen stuff. Only I paid for mine. Mine's got I fucking paid for mine. <laughs> yeah, whatever. A lot more than you paid for yours, whatever. buddy. Look at the man back on. It's a secure don't man. Be, don't be going bringing out man bags now. No, I won't Making be bringing out man, man bags. bags. I won't Make be doing that. Bag. Alan wants to drive a real man's vehicle. So I said, look, I'm not going to not let you drive a real man's vehicle. Are you getting in? <laughs> <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to cruise around Port Leash. We're going to cruise the strip. Back when I was a young lad, we used to... Wait. When we had our cars. Wait. Huh. Okay. I just, before we go, I just want to show you how cool Alan looks in the vehicle. <laughs> it's like car, car driving. Hey, I've never seen you looking so manly. That suits you down to the ground. That's the job. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's like driving a monster truck. Will you get that out of my face? Holy mother of God. She's nice and big, isn't she? She's big. She is big. You're over. You're overcompensating, overcompensating yeah. for something very small. Well, we both know that's not fucking true because I showed you. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you I wasn't missing. That's it. Give it to her. Give it to her. It's the job, isn't it? Look at how bright they are. Yeah, they're bright, aren't they? That is ridiculous. Watch. Off. On. <laughs> Don't blame the people. Wow. Something. You'd know you never drove a lorry. Back over there. Oh, Off a cunt for the man. Off a cunt for the man. Don't fucking crash it. <laughs> there is definitely some truth in it. We live now in a credit economy. We are becoming cashless. They track everything we say and do, and we give up everything, even our opinions. So, mm, I don't know. Well, I like a chocolate hobnob, but I just have a thing for those little pink wafers. I think they're. You really don't. You love Jaffas. I don't love Jaffas. You do. I don't. You're the only Jaff I love. A few people messaged and told us to give him sugar water and we put it down. Now I don't know whether that worked or not, but he wasn't there when we got home. So either he was kidnapped and murdered or he just flew away. 
bird could have vetted as well. So, uh, well, commercial logs are 5.5s, 4.9s, etc., etc. They're used for lumber and construction timber. And then you have pallet timber, which is used for exactly that, making pallets. And then you have pulp wood. But that is simplifying it a lot. Every forest is different, the standard of timber is different, and every single tree is optimized to get the most out of it commercially as possible. From stake to massive big commercial timber. Ah, that's brilliant. I knew anyone that bought them would love them. I, I knew that happened because I, I love them myself. I'm never out of them. Yeah, and you wouldn't believe how many messages like that I got after, which was cool as well. But unfortunately, I do have very low numbers again because I can't hold that much stock in the house. There's just too much of it. It costs so much money. You don't know. There's so many different sizes. So I got basic sizes that went quickest the last time, but I have them here now. They're in. At least this time, I can promise they're going up Friday night. When you put in your order, you'll have them in three or four days. Unless you're in New Zealand or Australia or America or Hong Kong or Abu Dhabi, they're going to take a little bit longer, but they're all here at least. Um, yeah, I have all that sorted. Thank God. So sorry about all that. It was the, it was the biggest uh, fuck up of mine since I started. And um, yeah, I apologize profusely. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm fucked. But if I go to bed too early, then when I'm working tomorrow night, I'll, I'll be all out of sync. Because I'm used to going to bed around one or two o'clock now, you know.